10 Steps to Implementing a SoftPass SoftPass is an app that helps turn your phone or tablet into a terminal without purchasing additional hardware. You can either build such an innovative system from scratch or use a white label offering. If you're looking to have your own SoftPass solution, here are the 10 critical steps you'll need to take to succeed in this process. Now bear in mind that all the following steps assume you already have a payment gateway, which you'll use with your SoftPaw solution. 1. Find an acquiring bank. You should select an acquiring bank to issue merchant accounts for your merchants and perform initial merchant background verification. In addition, the processor used by the acquiring bank must support card present processing and EMV certification of third-party devices or terminal solutions. 2. Define a PIN encryption strategy. A device should be injected with an encryption key to accept PIN entries on it. This requires a remote key loading mechanism, or RKL, which generally involves a hardware security module, or HSM, that your gateway may need to integrate with. 3. Select an EMV toolkit. Next, you must discuss the EMV certification process and clarify EMV toolkit requirements with your acquirer's processor. If necessary, you should also obtain a toolkit license quote. This step is crucial for budgeting because some toolkits are quite expensive. 4. Request processor specifications. Once you receive confirmation from the processor, you need to request its payment processing specifications. This will help you ensure that all the required functionality is supported and estimate the integration efforts. Processor specification is also the starting point for code development. 5. Define an EMV kernel strategy. The SoftPass application needs an EMV kernel that takes care of card interactions. You can use a third-party kernel or build your own. The choice depends on the desired time frame, initial budget, and long-term transactional fees. 6. Define the attestation strategy. Device attestation is a series of verifications necessary to confirm the device's eligibility to process payment transactions. It has to be supported by all SoftPass implementations. You can use a third-party solution or build your own. Often EMV kernel vendors offer the attestation service as well. 7. Define a SoftPass strategy. To make your SoftPass app available, you need to decide how it will be built, obfuscated, and deployed to a marketplace for subsequent delivery to merchant phones or tablets. 8. Develop the SoftPass application. Once you have decided which EMV kernel to use and how the attestation will be implemented, you can begin developing the app necessary to turn devices into a SoftPass. The implementation has to consider any card brand specific requirements for SoftPass applications. 9. Integrate with a processor. While the SoftPass code is being developed, the developers responsible for the gateway can also start integrating the gateway with the processor and implement any specific requirements related to the SoftPass EMV processing. 10. Undergo CPOC audit and EMV certification. Once the development is completed, you must go through CPOC certification with an auditor and certify EMV logic implementation with the processor. Now keep in mind that the time frame of this step is difficult to forecast because a lot will depend on the respective auditor and processor. If the steps above sound like too much to deal with, we can help. We have our own licensable SoftPost product and support various other payment terminal solutions. Our experts can help you with your particular SoftPass implementation use case. We also offer source code. Discover Unipay Gateway today. Brought to you by United Thinkers, developers of Unipay Gateway.